Today we're going to talk about the velocity, mass, and energy. First of all, we already know that when we apply a force onto a particle or a body of mass, the force will move the body. And uh, by moving the body, the energy of the body will change. The changing rate of energy is given by F dot V. This is the formula we have derived in our previous video. Now let's look at the uh, dependence on V. As we all know, uh, F is a force, but that force is related to the derivative of mv. This is similar to Newton's law, but in Newton's law, we assume m is a constant. That's why you can take m out so that dv dt become acceleration. But in this case, we want to investigate the velocity dependent mass. So we cannot take the m out of the derivative. So f has to be the derivative of mv, which mv is equal to the momentum p. Okay, this effectively is saying that uh, this is a dp dt. Anyhow, if we plug this f into the previous uh, formula and also assume that e is the energy, and the e we can assume that it is equal to mc squared, where m is a function of v, for example, function of v, and the c squared. This is the famous formula derived by Einstein. And before we know what is m's dependence on v, let's plug this into the formula we already know. Okay, so now f dot v should equal to d dt m that's f that's dot v should equal to energy which is d dt m c squared so what does that tell us okay so if we time 2m on both sides of this equation. Then we know we can uh, get the following. The first item on the left hand side should equal to d dt. m square v dot v and on the right hand side this should be equal to c square since c is constant d dt and m square so now we are saying that these two derivatives are always equal so the only thing we can say is the inside items can only be difference by a constant. So that would leave us to m square c square equal to m square v dot v plus c. This is a constant C, not a speed of light. This is a speed of light. So 
In that case, we can、uh, look at、uh, another way. When the speed is zero, when speed is zero, what happen? Of course, we'll have a mass. And、uh, m zero square c equal to c. This is the constant. This m zero is m when speed is zero. Okay. In that case, we can plug this back in. M c this m is function of velocity equal to m square. V squared plus C, which is m z square C Squ square missing a square here. Then we can say m square C square minus V square equal to M zero square c square. So with that, we can derive m equal to m zero divided by one over v square over c square. Now you can see m. Of the object or any body will equal to m zero, which is the mass when the body is at the rest with zero velocity. That's why I call the rest mass. And m equal to m zero divided by this factor one minus v square over c square. Right? If we define this lambda. One over one over c square c square. Then we can write in this way, m so the mass of the body is just a a factor、uh, apply、uh, multiply by the rest mass. So when the velocity is very small against the speed of light, then this go to y. So m goes to m zero. So when the velocity is very small relatively, the real mass and the rest mass is almost the same. When v equal to c, what happened? This this should equal to infinity. That means this equal to infinity. When the object is travel faster, 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 or close to the speed of light, its mass become a heavier, heavier, heavier. And require more energy to drive it to move further. And when you approach and see, it's almost impossible to move such an object because it's getting so heavy. It require huge amount of energy to drive.、Uh, to move it in any way. So this is the duration. From a classical understanding of、uh, the energy、uh, change rate d e d t, usually equal to f dot v means the、uh, power, the external force delivered to the body, so to make it moving at the speed of v, with assumption that. The mass can be written as a constant,、uh, c square times.
times a mass which is dependent on velocity. With that assumption, we can derive the real uh, mass expression that is uh, true, even in the sense with within the framework of relativity. So thank you for watching.